everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Survive the Night. Bruce Willis, Chad Michael Murray. All-star cast, right? So it's about a doctor whose family's being held hostage at their home by a criminal on the run, and then something happens that they have to call for medical help. I don't know. That's all it says. Um, ooh, I didn't even check the rating. Let me check the rating on IMDb. says... Not rated yet, so we will be the first. We, you will hear it here first because it just came out. Survived and I'm excited to see it. I've been waiting to see it for a while. I'm a big fan of Bruce Willis. I mean, who isn't? And Chad Michael Murray. I'm a One Tree Hill fan. So um, let me get into it, find out what it's really about, and then ultimately let you know what I think. That's I'm setting my expectations high on this one. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits here of Survive the Night, and uh, I survived the movie. Uh, just thought of that just now. I have to say, there's not a lot new here. This is nothing creative, nothing groundbreaking. It's your criminals, home invasion type movie that we've seen in many different ways. Um, different fashion. It's not like Strangers, like, uh, you know, that kind of movie. But it's, you know, Breaking In or Breaking In or whatever that movie was with uh, whatever uh, but I'll break it down for you so there's two criminals who had some sort of robbery I don't know they got $20,000 uh, they're on their way to buy a beach house with $20,000 it does seem like it was filmed today you know in this era but they're going to buy a beach house with their 20 grand so <laughs> have at it um, but uh, on their way they decide to stop at a gas station and, of course, the one hothead brother of the two of them decides to hold it up. And when it happens, the other guy gets shot in the leg. So now he needs medical attention. That's the medical emergency we talked about. Well, they go to a clinic where Chad Michael Murray is working. And they say, yeah, sorry, we're closed. So they decide to follow him home. Um, home is he's living back with his parents for, um, you know, they, they make an elaborate type of story. He evidently had... Um, malpractice in his old um, job but it's very like glossed over but it's there and that's why he's living back at home because they sued him and now he lost everything and he's living back at home and to get back on his feet but he's working back at a clinic he's a doctor which brings me to one of my faults in my movie in this movie so Bruce Willis is his father I'm not sure the lady who plays his mom but they're going to bed and again the guy made a mistake he was a doctor he he messed up. They don't they don't allude to like the fact that he was drinking or anything like that. It just seems like an accident. And uh, Bruce Willis is he's like, did we do the right thing by ra how how we raised this kid? I'm like seriously, you got a doctor who made a mistake and malpractice, but he's still a doctor. He didn't lose his license or anything like that. And I was like, why would they say that? You know what I mean? That's ridiculous. Anyway. Oh, so that's one of the faults of many in this movie. Um, but anyway, that's why he lives at home. And um, the criminals follow him home. They come into the house. They want him to operate. Of course, they start, you know, saying, hey, we'll kill your wife, kill your kid if you don't do this. And it's a fight for survival. And they have to survive the night. That's the whole plot line. That's everything you need to know. There's many movies out there like that. Not all of them had Chad Michael Murray in them, um, or Bruce Willis. This one did. Um, the only reason, really, I watched it. And, and it's only an hour and 28 minutes long, so that's also nice, too. So I didn't waste too much time. Um, it's not completely terrible, besides some of the things that I've mentioned, but it's, it's what I've seen before. It's just putting new actors in a different in, in, in the movie instead of what I've seen in other movies. So, I was bored. A hour and 28 minutes I found myself bored and I felt it was taking longer than it should have because you know the whole time what's gonna happen, you know? You know, they're gonna, ooh, they're gonna try and escape, they're not gonna get it, then they're gonna try and turn on them, might not work, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. It's the same thing you've seen every, every other time. So, unfortunately, you know, if, if it would have been the first time I've seen a movie like this, maybe I'd like it. But, 
nothing here to see. It's funny, twenty thousand dollars can get you a beach house. Um, raising a doctor makes you question the way you raise your kids, um, <laughs> and uh, and that's it. Nothing else. There's not, um, eh, nothing else to talk about. Sorry, that's all I got for you. If you checked it out, love to hear your comments. Um, if you have to pay for it, don't. Um, it's not worth your money, I don't think. Unless, no, it's not. But, again, if you watch it, drop me comments. I'll be here with your thoughts. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And, uh, once again, continue to tune in to Kimmel's Irish Pub for these insightful reviews. Alright, see ya.